Pharma Ventures, experts in deals and alliances. Clinical diagnostic testing has been in the realm of the central laboratory for many years now and it's often been desired that these tests are brought closer to the patient in the doctor's office or a near patient setting so that we can deliver better value to patients and quicker diagnosis. PCR testing and other molecular diagnostic techniques haven't to date lent themselves to this because there's a time factor involved. With me on today's show is Federico Burstjens of GNA Biosolutions. Federico, welcome. Thank you very much. So perhaps we can start with a little bit about GNA Biosolutions, your company, where, where it started and, and, and what it's doing. So we are a company that is a spin-off from the physics department of the University of Munich um, in Germany. And um, I think this is important because we have always taken an approach to, to make use of physics again versus fighting against physics as other companies do it that try to accelerate the PCR by conventional means. My co-founder um, Joachim has um, invented during his PhD um, a method to melt DNA one million times faster than it is possible to do with any other existing technology on the market. And the real trick is not how the heating is done, but how the cooling is done. I'm not going to go into details, but um, this huge advantage in time really helps to uh, cut the processing time of the PCR by a factor of 10 or more. So we can do a PCR in five to 10 minutes. We can bring this molecular diagnostics with all its advantages in terms of sensitivity and specificity to the point of care, to where the patient is. Um, one of our um, products will be aimed at um, a screening applications in the hospital. When the patient um, is admitted, um, a decision can be made whether to isolate or to um, the, the patient or to admit the patient to a regular ward. But um, our technology is not just a one-trick pony. We can also uh, um, use the same approach for, um, as an open system for life science applications, for instance, in the field of biosafety, food safety, uh, um, water testing, um, you name it. Um, and um, people are able to migrate their existing qPCR assays onto our platform. Right, so you've got, you've got a couple of potential revenue streams there. One is a defined regulated test for, for maybe infectious diseases or other areas. The other is a more research use where people can port their own technology onto it. Is there a danger that you'll get contamination of one with the other and so you'll, you'll, you'll cannibalize business from the, the, the one? Well, the, the, the medical diagnostic market certainly is very um, regulated, um, but um, the open platform is totally intended for um, professional users um, to adopt their lab-developed tests onto our system. So, um, but these lab-developed tests still are bound to the centralized laboratories and are not designed for the point of care and require some manual uh, um, sample preparation. So um, I think that um, both products aim at very different applications and the, the danger of one cannibalizing the other is very low. But you, and you mentioned your competition there, so companies like Cepheid and Alir who've gone the sort of black box type route where you just buy it, block the sample in and get a result. You don't know what's going on, but it takes too long. You're, you're going to turn that on its head so people can A, know what's going on, but also they get the result much quicker. Um, well, for, for, for the integrated platform, it will be a proprietary test, um, which we won't disclose um, how it works exactly. But um, in principle, the user may um, use um, our open platform with standard plasticware, just pla standard um, PCR tubes to, to run their own tests with their established um, sample preparation methods. So, so this would not be an integrated workflow there. For the open platform, we provide um, a much, much faster back end of the process. Right, and is that the vision for the business that you intend to become a sort of fully fledged diagnostic company like a Cepheid or an Alea? Um, yes, um, it is one route that we could take. Um, however, um, I think it's more capital uh, um, effective if we, um, if we partner with different um, OEMs. We do that already. Um, and we are absolutely open for um, all kinds of strategic alliances because um, we don't um, see our core expertise in, in distribution and, and, and um, going through all the regulation of all countries. I think there are companies that, that have done this before and we are the technology providers. Right, so you want to be the enablers, so you could end up doing a deal with a Cepheid if they, they, they so chose. Absolutely. Because they have the distribution channels. Sure. 
Where are you in your development right now? You said you've got an instrument already? Or? So um, we have, for instance, um, one system in, in Rome in a hi um, high um, safety, biosa biosafety level four laboratory to do um, Ebola tests. So we, we, we do partner with, um, with um, academic and, and industrial institutions that, that, that are testing our system. And the open platform is going to be launched this year. Okay, so it's, it, the company is quite early in its, in, its, in its genesis, if you like. And is that why you're here at Biotech and, and Money? Of course, um, we, we want to partner, we, we want to create visibility. At the end of the day, our investors um, um, will uh, um, have an exit at some point. And, and um, for that, it is important to, to make connections early on. Of course, we are also um, fundraising right now. Um, we have a very strong investor spaces um, and we are in a fortunate position that we um, we can do an internal financing round, um, but um, if um, a suitable opportunity occurs to, to um, find more investors with um, expertise in this field um, or which, which help us um, to be more visible internationally, um, we are certainly open for that. But if, but if you're successful at what you're doing now and you raise the appropriate levels of capital, you aim to revolutionize PCR diagnostic testing. Yeah, we, we hope that um, laser PCR will be the new um, platform technology for many other applications, yeah. Federico, I wish you every success with that and thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much for having me. For more information about Pharma Ventures, visit our website.